Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and these weekly vlogs are where I document my weight loss journey. I show you guys the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me to lose weight. But before we get into this week's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So it is currently 9.03. I have been working since 6.30 this morning and I need to take a break because I had a emergency at 6.30 this morning that I had to take care of. So this week is gonna be pretty full on because um, I have a project due next Thursday. So a lot of work needs to get done. But anyways, I will have an update about my car towards the end of this video because last week we ended um, a little stressed because of the situation with my core. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link, um, a little card above so you guys can go check out the last vlog. And I'll also leave a link in the description box below so you guys can go check out the previous vlog as to what happened with my car and what's going on with my car. But if you want an update on that, it's gonna be towards the end of the video. But I have not eaten anything and need to eat something. Yeah, I ended last week at 223, so I have been maintaining the past couple weeks. So I need to get out of that rut right now. But yeah, this morning I am going to make myself some breakfast. I'm going to take a little break here because I've been working for so long. It is going to be a long day. I am so tired. Um, but yeah. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Anyways, I'm going to go make breakfast. I will show you guys what that looks like in a second for you. I have yet to finish my green juice and it is basically noon how i'm getting ready for today is putting on makeup and wearing a robe that is today's outfit but anyways i'm gonna make lunch here in a bit i'm gonna have some brussels sprouts with some eggs as i will show you mainly coming on here because i really really want to get ice cream to the point where I'm like I will walk to the grocery store and get it I might I might just do it I might just do it makeup came out pretty good today not bad although a couple spots I had like a weird missing spot here so I just like put um, eyeliner to be my spot. I always hate when I see a tow truck because I'm like, are they gonna take my car? Cause if they try, I will go out there in this robe and I will fight for my car. Tow trucks come a lot to like my neighborhood and like, I just, I can't be having that. I've had an issue where, where my grandma, she like parked at a hospital. We were both at the hospital and she's at an appointment and I was with her, came back out, her car was gone. Oh, that's kind of cool, that rainbow moment there. Her car was gone and we saw the footage of the tow truck taking her car from the VA. And we were just like, what? So we went to try to go pick up the vehicle because they shouldn't have done that. And they got to keep the vehicle because they just towed it away and it just cost too much money to like take it back. So we had to start taking the bus and stuff like that. But it was honestly the most ridiculous thing ever 
But yeah, now I'm like always wary of tow trucks because firstly, they should not be allowed to do that. Um, especially if you're at a freaking hospital, like my grandma was parked in the right spot. She's a, okay, he's leaving. He ain't taking the car, which is great. But it's just always weird when like tow trucks come into this apartment complex. Cause I'm just like, are you, are you about to take the car? But anyways, I started a new series called The Order, but I'm only one episode in and it's, it's intriguing because I still am curious as to what's going on. So anyways, I'm going to finish my green juice. I will check in with you guys in a little bit as to what I actually eat and if I get ice cream. I mean, I shouldn't because I said I wouldn't unless I needed something from the grocery store, which I do not. And I already have chocolate. So I guess I'm not getting ice cream. Mm.
So I haven't talked to you guys all day, really I've just kind of showed my food and my workouts and stuff, but it's just been really busy. I have a project on at work that's due next Thursday and this week is just a little bit crazy with my hours and stuff like that. So I just, the past couple nights I didn't get a lot of sleep to work out in the mornings and like get up so I gave my body the rest that it needed. Last night I did and so I was able to work out this morning, although I didn't do too much. I didn't go too ham. I just did like a full body workout, which is mainly just butt and arms. <laughs> Wasn't really full body, but it got some stuff then, you know, it did the job. It got me sweating. It got me moving. And I went for a walk, as you guys saw. Anyways, 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 um, I have been wanting to share a little bit about how I'm feeling because... I haven't shared that in a while. I'm feeling very fat. I'm not liking the way that I look. Mainly because in 2019, I basically lost 20 pounds. Like 20 to 30 pounds. Yeah, 30 pounds. And 2020, pretty much gained back 29 pounds. <laughs> and 2021, I'm working to lose that weight off. And then some, hopefully. But... At the same time, I feel like this year I'm having a better relationship with food and the fact that I am no longer doing that thing where I restrict myself and I'm like, I'm only going to eat clean for 30 days. Like, I, nah, nah. But my goal is to find cleaner alternatives so that I'm not putting things in my body that are not good for me at, in that sense. But I do have a confession to make let's get real i the ice cream honestly is not an issue in terms of me losing weight i have figured that out like i could have two pints of ice cream in a week and that does not cause me to gain weight i can lose weight eating ice cream and chocolate as you guys have seen the issue is at the weekends when i am ordering food out so when i eat food on the weekend i was ordering too much food out and eating too much on the weekends on Saturdays and Sundays so that when I would weigh in on Monday I would start at 228 227 and then eat majority of the week healthy like the food that you guys saw um sometimes that was chipotle either splitting it like into a lunch and a dinner type of situation but I was eating majority of the week healthy not including the ice cream, the pints of ice cream, about two pints of ice cream, and the chocolate bars that you saw me eating. And so then by the end of the week, by Saturday, I would be 2.23 by Saturday morning. And then come Saturday, I would eat that day, I would eat something out, whether that's Chick-fil-A or Raisin Cane's or uh, Noodles and Company, whatever, and then do the same thing on Sunday and gain all that weight back to be 227 228 and then lose it so so i think what i figured out which i think is obvious to everybody <laughs> is that i don't need to be eating out like that all the time and i also just have noticed that i definitely want to try to find cleaner healthier options when it comes to ice cream because i've definitely found clean milk alternatives like milk is the cleanest 
like oat milk you're gonna find almond milk you're gonna find cashew milk you're gonna find because they have very simple ingredients whereas a bunch of other places have like all these different oils and gums and xanthanums and whatever all these things that you can't really pronounce and shouldn't have to pronounce because they're not whole nutritious ingredients and I want to try to find that in ice creams and find better alternatives and healthier options and try to find ice creams that don't have like a ton of sugar in them because that is something that I definitely watch with everything else that I buy in terms of sauces is that if it has additional sugar in it I I ain't messing with it I ain't messing with it so what I definitely try to do is buy things that don't have don't have additional sugar and that's definitely helped me and I definitely want to carry that over to my ice creams and find better alternatives and I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna buy this pint ice cream maker from Target and just make my own ice cream I think that's what I'm gonna do and just have like vegan treats that I buy throughout like I don't know that I can make or something or that I can add so I can have different flavors um that don't have as much sugar so that the base of the ice cream is not super you know sweet and it's also like not things that I'm not aware of like what's going into my ice cream so I think that's like what I'm gonna do I might buy that this weekend if I have time or next weekend or next week if I have time I'll keep you guys posted but I think that's what I want to do because honestly me staying at basically 223 pounds because yes it happened again this weekend I've got up to 220 pounds and going back down which is great um might weigh a little bit more might weigh a little bit less who knows how Saturday is actually going to go down but I am tired of looking fat because I've noticed in my face I don't know if this has been like out of focus this entire time I'm so sorry if it has but I feel like in my face it's a lot more rounder and obviously like my stomach is bigger I, I basically gained back the 30 pounds last year so obviously like I gained weight which means that it's showing on my body and I've really been looking at myself in the mirror and just not liking what I see and have been feeling very very down about it and yeah I just I don't like that and when I lose weight and I have gotten smaller in the past I feel more confident because I don't feel like I'm lugging around a ton more of me than is necessary so yeah losing weight for me like is a confidence booster for sure I don't like feeling fat I don't like looking fat I don't like feeling so round I just my self-confidence and how I look is just not that great like I know I'm beautiful I know I'm beautiful you don't gotta tell me twice girl I know I'm pretty <laughs> like I know I'm a beautiful person but in terms of like feeling comfortable in my own skin I just don't when I'm heavier I don't feel good when I'm heavier I feel like I I breathe more like my energy levels are not as great when I am at a heavier weight and yeah like I feel like my body's not functioning as well when I'm at a heavier weight I just don't like it so yeah that is what I came on here to share and uh I mean it's it's me like it's how I feel about myself when I'm heavier and I know like my body is beautiful and the fact that my body can do so many things for me like it is able to help me work out it is able to help me to like think and think through problems and problem solves and make decisions and be able to talk with people and to communicate in ways that is just amazing and wonderful like my body can do so much for me and I appreciate it it like wakes me up it you know I, I can feed my body and it gives me energy to like walk around it gives me energy to sing and dance when I like feel like singing and dancing and it like my body definitely does so much for me and I'm definitely really grateful towards my body but at the same time I don't feel confident in my skin because I am a lot heavier and I've looked at myself in the mirror as I said and I've seen what I look like and I just 
it kind of breaks my heart. I don't like it. And I'm not emotional about it. And the fact that like, it makes me really sad. It's just a little frustrating. And also like, I just want to lose the weight. I just want to no longer be on this weight loss journey. And I want to start the second part of this fitness journey and just getting stronger and stronger. And yes, I am still getting strong now as I'm losing weight, but I want that to like, it will for me, it will change what that looks like when I'm no longer on this weight loss journey, if that makes sense. So, now that we've had a little bit of a heart to heart, um, essentially, I am going to talk with you guys in the morning. I am hoping I do not have another emotion. Emo- blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping I do not have another emergency email in the middle of the night for the rest of the week um at least yeah for the rest of the week because i want to be able to sleep through the night and not have to worry i've got bad habits i'm trying to fix you haven't even seen the half of it and i don't think you'd want to distance myself so it doesn't hurt but i'm still in pain either way don't know why you give me the time of day because i don't think i'm worth the wait no i don't think you should get to know me because you're feeling lonely you don't want these problems i'm overcomplicated. it's hard for me to trust again after what i went my camera died in the middle of me doing my leg workout and so I did more different workouts I did the one where you sit on the chair and you have like the resistance bands and you're kind of pushing your legs out 
to the side of you. And then I did um, lunges with a row. That is what I did. And then I just got back from my 30 minute walk. I'm like looking at my screen because my screen, the settings are just different. It's so interesting. I realized that I had the ISO on a very high number instead of auto. So if I was out of focus, I'm so sorry guys, but I can't refilm the past couple of days. But anyways, I just wanted to explain that my camera died and I went on a walk. I finished my leg workout. I feel really strong. I'm feeling a lot better because I pushed myself in my workout today. And yeah, now I'm trying to warm up because my chin is still pretty cold and so are my legs. And yeah, I'm trying to warm up before I get into the shower because if I just go straight into the shower and I'm still like frozen and not, you know, warmed up, my skin is, it's like it gets on fire. Like it's like fire ants are all, all over my legs. It's so painful. So I have to thaw, have to thaw, you know, warm up, let the fruit, the frozen crispness of the air, crispness of the air leave my body. And then I can get into the shower and get myself a hot shower. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I have for breakfast here in a moment. Also, I got paid. Oh, payday. I like love payday because it means I can pay my bills and be set. So I paid some bills. Adulting done right. Adulting is hard, by the way. Adulting is so... It can be very difficult. I still have uh, laundry to do, but it is Friday's Eve. I'm gonna continue thawing and then I'll show you guys my breakfast soon after. Hopefully I'll have some makeup on as well. I forgot. I forgot to show my breakfast, but I had avocado on toast with eggs. <sighs> like I, it's there. <laughs> well, it's 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 not there. It's here. Um, I forgot to show that, but I have not had my celery juice, which I'm going to have now, which I should have had first. To be quite honest with you, today is just gone in a different way than I thought it would. Actually, I think I'll have cranberry juice instead of celery juice. With a little bit of pomegranate juice as well. In case you've been wondering what I've been drinking in the past couple days, it has been pomegranate juice. Um, but today is a mixture of cranberry juice and pomegranate juice. I'm gonna eat this now. So today has kind of escaped me. I've had some meetings and did not eat lunch. So currently I am making popcorn as you can kind of hear. And I forgot that I had ground turkey meat because I was like, oh, I really want to get Chipotle. And I was debating on whether I should get Chipotle. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to pay $20 for a $10 bowl. I don't wanna do that. And so I was like, okay. I looked in the, in the freezer, realized that I had ground turkey. So I am, you know, put it in hot water so I can like start cooking with it. Um, that's how I get things to thaw quickly. And I bought this ramen set here. You get 12 of them and this is what they look like outside and you just need them to boil in the water for about three minutes or so so it doesn't take that long to do which is really really great um and my popcorn's about to be done but to kind of hold me over until my ground turkey is done hold on
But yeah, I'm having popcorn to hold me over until I can get my ground turkey to be done. And then I will mix it together to make a stir fry like I said I wanted to. So although I am very, very hungry, I am going to have this popcorn now with some salt, some honey as I normally do. And yes, that means that I eat my popcorn with a spoon and a couple, like not even a handful of chocolate chunks. So you'll see the end results. So this is how much chocolate I'm putting in there. And is done I won't show that too much because some people don't like to look at me like that so I'll check in with you guys when the next portion of this meal is done and ready
happy happy saturday it is weigh-in day and i currently weigh 225 pounds so i gained two pounds from last week which is totally fine i am currently having my green juice and i am having avocado on toast with some eggs as you guys can see here and yeah today is gonna be a pretty chill day i was planning to go for a walk this morning but it is it was literally zero degrees outside fahrenheit so <laughs> i definitely was like I'm not gonna do that i am going to Oh yeah, that's that's another thing that I was going to say. So I can attribute the fact that I gained weight two pounds this week was, yes, last night, if I probably didn't have that cookie, I probably would be at 224. But alas, I ate the cookie. It was really delicious, along with the ice cream. If I like took out the sweets, I probably would have been at 224 and only gained a pound. But... I think what I gained this week was not just fat, it was probably muscle because I definitely worked out my legs for sure and my abs in a very different way. I'm trying to have more movement um, in my abs currently instead of just staying like static. I'm trying to bend my spine more when doing ab exercises so that I can build my abdominal muscles and I also like had more protein this week because I had that Korean barbecue chicken and that Korean barbecue chicken that I had was about four portions and like one and I had two of those so I had basically eight portions of protein so I upped my protein a lot this week and I don't eat like a ton a ton of meat anyway like I eat a good I eat a good amount but when I'm cooking I try not to like I don't know it's not that I try it's just I don't it's not that I don't enjoy meat because I do like chicken and I do like fish but for some reason I just don't eat a vast amount of it but this chicken just tasted so like the Korean barbecue just tasted so good that I was like I can't resist I can't resist. I need to look at the ingredients again because I'm sure it was like good ingredients to put on it. Um, I just need to look at the sauce to make sure that's something that I would want to buy again in the future because that is something that I'm trying to do is find cleaner alternatives for food. I know I'm not going to succeed in everything, but if I can succeed in most, that's that's the aim. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to make currently some Oreo truffles. But first, I'm making myself some tea because I just got back from errands and I am still cold. <laughs> so I am making myself some lemon tea and H-E-B style lemon herbal tea in my favorite mug that Melanie got me. <laughs> Truly, it's the only mug that I use now. <laughs> All my mugs that I got from Anthropology, whatever. They have nothing. <laughs> they have nothing on my Boss Burgers mug. Truly, truly I say to you, it is my favorite. But I am about to make Oreo truffles. If you want to learn how to make Oreo truffles, I will leave a card up on the screen for you so you can go check out that video because I have made them in the past and I recorded how I make them. Speaking of which, I am making apple cider monkey bread tomorrow for Sunday, which you guys will see because I think I'm going to film a bake with me type of video. And making that, I am making it out of the Black Girl Bakes cookbook. And I'm going to go through that entire process because usually it's a journey when I bake. Something always goes wrong but the bakes always turn out really good despite something happening i did buy i'll i'll do the video and and we'll you'll see it you'll see the video of what i made so and how it came out 
and what I bought and all the things that I bought for it. But right now I am going to have this lemon tea. As you guys can see, it is, it's on high. So we're gonna get into this and then I will show you guys the final result of my Oreo truffles that I'm going to make. And yeah, just three simple ingredients. Oreos, obviously, cream cheese, and chocolate. <sighs> well, you guys saw what I had for dinner. I am finishing up with having a so delicious salted caramel ice cream bar. Mm. Also, the sound that you can hear is my heater. Because <laughs> it is going to be like negative five tomorrow the lowest that's gonna be so cold um but anyways end of the week at 224 225 225 that's what i ended the week at weighing was 225 so went up two pounds but that's fine and yeah, I will insert what the Oreo truffles, well, nah, you guys can just check out the video that I made of Oreo truffles in the past. They look the same. Um, there's really not much difference, but I made them with cream cheese. I didn't find any dairy-free cream cheese, so I was not able to eat any of them. So I still have quite a bit in the house, but I'm going to be giving them away. I'm going to do some drop-offs to people. But yeah, gave away about six tonight, and then I'll give away some, hopefully majority of them tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I ended the week at. So thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. Oh, that's right. If you want to know what happened with my car, I am going to insert all of that footage now. So this is my car. The wheel is flat and someone punctured it right here. Um, they got hit and punctured right there. So it's very, yeah very flat so I don't think I would be even able to drive it if someone filled it up with air I would probably have to get it towed the frustrating thing is that I just got these tires replaced and I got the hubcaps replaced so the fact that something is wrong with it again I'm hoping it's not gonna cost a lot but we'll see and also I just like I'm also frustrated that whoever did this like hit my car and didn't even like leave anything you know like it would have been nice if they left a note and been like hey call me sorry about this accident like I don't know if it was the person who parked on the right side of my car who was leaving or if it was the person who was putting groceries in the car with their um with the shopping cart or if it was the new person who parked in the car next to me like I don't know and that's the frustrating part also it's it's a minor thing like this is a minor ordeal it just stresses me out because I don't want to deal with it like I just don't want to do it and yeah it just stresses me out that I have to like figure it out I don't know if other people are like that when it comes to like adulting things that you just that are annoying that you have to take care of like there are things that I'm more than happily I'm more than happy to do like grocery shopping and you know like paying my bills like that is fine like I can pay my bills I can grocery shop I can budget although budgeting hasn't been the best lately I will say because I ate out quite a bit earlier in the month but you know I'm reading I'm reining it in now um but yeah I am getting better at budgeting so that I'm not like overspending <laughs> I 
and also like planning trips and stuff like that like I'm okay with like budgeting and planning trips if I want to go on a vacation whatever but honestly like I have dealt with so much stuff with my car and cars in the past like my last car and then now this car with the tires and this is like not the worst of it because my cars before cost like way more and things that I had to get done like it was infuriating like spark plugs the alternator the entire engine basically transmission um rotator like all that stuff i've gotten a lot of stuff replaced on the other car and then it got hail damage and then like i even replaced the battery as well in my old car and so when i got this new car i was just like okay it's a newer car it's used but it's a newer car and it's like it's not going to cause me a lot of issues it's like basically f four years old three four years old and so like there's things that it needs to get done which i totally understand um yeah i just feel like it's frustrating because i wish someone who did the damage would have put a note on my car or something to be like hey i did this to your car i'm sorry because now I have to pay for it when it's not even my fault. And granted, when things happen with your car that like are maintenance things, like that's not your fault, but it's understood because you have to make sure that your car is running properly. So you have to get like a brake fluid flush and a you know, fuel injection flush and all those things like and if your battery is like so many years old, like yes, you should replace it. After your tires are so many miles old like yes you should replace it but it's just a little frustrating <sighs> hopefully we'll see i might have to get it towed to costco and then costco replace the tire because it's under warranty at least i have warranty warranty it's just it's just a little stressful and I just don't want to deal with it especially after the week that I had at work Ugh. so basically I called my extended warranty and I am going to have a tow truck come in uh, change my tire for me because I have a spare tire I didn't even think that I had a spare tire because I just haven't had tire issues before but this is a new realm but I called Costco where I bought my tires um, originally because they are still under warranty, which is great. If you buy tires from Costco, if you have a Costco membership, your tires will be covered for, let's see, what does it say on here? It will be covered for. So the warranty is valid for 60 months from the date of purchase or until the tires or until the tire reaches 1.6 millimeters, which is two thirty seconds of an inch or less in the remaining tread depth, regardless of age, whichever occurs first. So if you don't have a Costco membership, I uh, highly encourage it because um, I was talking to the guy and he was like, yeah, you should have a, a spare tire. And with a spare tire, which is basically a donut. Oh, I got to answer this call. Hello? Yeah, when he told me that I had a spare tire, I was just, that just relieved me. Cause now I don't have to like worry about getting a car with anybody that I don't know. And I don't have to like take an Uber to get, you know, once I get towed to Costco, like I can just, and with a spare tire, I can still get where I need to go. And the spare, and like to get it replaced, it's gonna be 30 to $40. Um, if it's just one tire and, but, it, Either way, it's going to be at a prorated rate because it's under warranty. And the fact that I can get someone to come out and change my tire for me, it just relieves so much stress. What? But did the guy, when you when he told you you had a, you had a spare tire, and you said, what? What did he, did he laugh? Were you thinking you were laughing? No, he was just like, yeah. He, he was basically just like, I'm so glad I told you this so that you don't have to like get it towed and like leave your car here 
um, and stuff like that because he was like, we don't tow um, vehicles and we can't come out to, to your place. Um, you would have to leave it here and, you know, make sure it's like secure and stuff like that. And I, yeah, I was just stressing about the fact that I would have to probably be in the car with someone. And so when he said that, I was just like, oh, I so he was just like, yeah, you should definitely have a spare tire. So I started laughing and he was just like, he just seemed relieved when he told me that he like as though he was it felt like he was really helping me out. I was just like, oh, my gosh, you're you're a lifesaver. <laughs> OK. All right. Love you. I love you too, Grandma. Oh wait, hold on. Say hi. <laughs> Relief. Oh, Kansas City. Kansas City. <laughs> Hello. So the update. I went to Costco and because my tires have my goodness person because my tires have less than like 10 that like what <laughs> because my tires have less than a thousand miles on them and because of the tread um, amount it was a hundred percent covered at Costco so I only had to pay the installation fee which is ten dollars and then on top of it um, my spare needed to be filled with air and to fill up your tires with air at Costco is free. So that's the update. Um, my tire should come in in about three days. So a car update. So I called Costco today and just wanted to see from the tire center if they received my tire yet because they said about two to three days and you know I went in on Sunday uh, that morning and because the incident happened on Saturday night and it looks like someone like punctured my car like not my car my tire so anyways, I called and they were like, oh, um, this new guy was like, yeah, that could really take five to seven days. So it wouldn't be here until probably Saturday. Um, and if we got it on like Monday, that's, you know, we, we might be able to do it then. But if it's not here by Monday, then, you know, the latest would be Wednesday, which is next week. And I'm just like, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I can't go anywhere because um, I haven't driven my car since Sunday when I made the appointment. I like, not appointment, but I like purchased the car, the tire, which was just $10 because I had the warranty on the tire. And I went to Noodles and Company, got food, and that was it. Like, I haven't driven the car anywhere. So not even two hours later, I got a call from Costco Tire Center saying that my tire's ready. So I went in today at 5.30 and got my tire put on. I did not get the hubcap put on because the hubcap was also damaged. And so I need to contact AutoZone because I still have the receipt from when I bought the hubcap and see if I can get it like replaced um for free and then if not I'll just buy another hubcap my I initially was like oh I'm not gonna get another hubcap and my grandma was like well you should to like protect your tires and I was like okay you're right I'll get a hubcap like it's no big deal but still further things I after 25 miles of like having the tire on my car this new tire I have to get my torque which is t-o-r-q-u-e a torque check on the tire so I am planning on going to AutoZone calling them tomorrow figuring it out tomorrow essentially of um, you know what's going on and like get my hubcap sorted 
And by then, I should have driven about 25 miles. Once I have the 25 miles on, I have to go back to Costco and have them check the torque um, because the lug nuts, apparently, on Fords, they swell. So if you have a Ford car, the lug nuts for your tires apparently swell and you have to get them replaced, which can cost $62 a pop. And I am hoping that there's only one lug nut per tire. I need to actually look that up to make sure that's correct. Because if it's one lug, nut, well, one lug nut per tire, the guy was like, oh, that's pretty affordable for $62 per lug nut. And I'm like, no, that's expensive because that's $124 for two tires, which means that's $228 total. How is that affordable, sir? To just be like, oh yeah, 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 that's uh, no, that's not affordable. Um, like just because I have a Costco membership doesn't mean that I'm spending like hundreds and hundreds of dollars every time I go into Costco. Like, chat, no, no. So that is the update with the car. So update on the car. I had to purchase a hubcap and you can't purchase hubcaps one. You have to purchase a set of four. So I bought the same ones that I got at AutoZone when I was in Texas, when I was getting my new tires back in December. I got the same hubcaps and I inserted them myself. I watched a YouTube video on how to install your hubcaps and it is very like hubcaps wheel cover it is very very easy like to take it out all you need is like a flathead screwdriver um a flathead driver i don't really know how you wait let's let's see yeah all you need is a flathead screwdriver to take out the old one if the old one is damaged or no longer good whatever and then you get the wire, you place it into the little notches on the very inside of the little like catchers basically, or ca like whatever these things are, the claws of it, of the upcap, because it comes with like a wire. So you attach the wire, the circular wire into the claws of the hubcap. And then once it's all on the inside, you have to make sure all of it's on the inside, then you just push it in with your hands into the wheel of your tire and make sure that you're matching up the little divot to where the, um, where you fill up air, like where you take off the cap to fill up your tire with air. You wanna match the divot of the wire to the insert the little hole that is gonna make room for that little cap and you want to match that up first and then you press it into the wheel of your tire and yeah it only takes a few seconds except I did it in like 14 degree weather and it dropped to 10 degree weather because the first one that I did I thought I had all the wires on the inside and I didn't and I ended up cracking one of the wheels so it was totally my fault but I had three other like hubcaps so I just used the other one and it worked because I was wondering why like it was still moving and not secure and I realized like looking at it closely I was like okay now everything is into the second one that I tried and it worked so now all I have to do is go to Costco and get my torque checked because I have driven 25 miles, which was just errands to get my hubcap and to Target the other night and to crumble cookie and then back home. I made a few other stops actually. I think I got gas and I went to a grocery store to pick something up not food related, like cleaning supplies related. Um, but yeah, 
That is the update with my tires. To end the car saga, as you guys saw, I have a tire on my car and I got the hubcaps. I installed that one myself and I just went to Costco to get my torque check, T-O-R-Q-U-E, torque. So I did that because they said that after 25 miles to come back and they will do a torque check and they did, which is just tightening everything on all the wheels, um, the lug nuts, I believe they just tightened everything and made it just more secure. So that ended up working out really great. So officially I have four wheels on my tires and I have four tires on my wheels and yeah, I'm able to drive my car and yes, as you can see, it is snowing. So that is the end of this tire saga. So yeah, that is what happened with my car and everything is resolved now. I'm very, very glad that it is done and resolved, but adulting is just, it can be challenging because you have to coordinate, you have to figure things out and sometimes you just don't want to do it and I just didn't want to do it, which was stressing me out, but I did it and it was easier than I thought and it worked out, which was really great. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching it and getting to this point. If you liked any part of this video, please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye.